Why does he follow me about? Wait for me when it's my night out. Why? Because he loves me. Why does he always ask for more? Kiss me behind the kitchen door. Why? Because he loves me. He's rather short and fat. And he's got no teeth or hair. And he's got size, but I don't really care. Why does he help me shut the peas? Stick his fork in me sausages. Why? Because he loves me. Now every year, he takes me down to South End, the Isle of Sea. And I tell folk he's my uncle. Because it pleases him, you see. And his wife, she hires a tuppenny chair and listens to the band while we sit on the shingle there and hold each other's hands. Oh, why, when he takes me out to swim and when I fall, let me fall on him. Why? Because he loves me. Why does he bump me up and down and hold me close in case I drown? Why? Because he loves me. He takes me out and bites me ice cream by the score. Never mind if I go back for more. Oh, why does he give me thunder smack and make me crowd just on me back? Why? Because he loves me. Thank you. 
a little lamb. She tied it to a pylon. Three thousand volts shot up its bum, and now it's woolly nylon. <laughs> I say, I say, I've not seen a man over there with a lemon in his ear. Lemon in his ear? What's he doing with a lemon in his ear? That's what I said. I said, what's he got that lemon in your ear for? He said, well, you've heard of the man with a hearing aid? I suggest he said, I'm the man with a lemon aid. <laughs> She's mad, sir. And there's another fellow with him wearing a kilt. Well, what's unusual with that? He's standing on his head. <laughs>
as I was saying, what a day I've had. What a day I've had! Oh, my goodness me. You're like fish lab at Tesco's. I went down there yesterday. Did you? Yes, I leant over the fish. One of them big freezing houses. I went in, I was like this. Yeah, it's suddenly these fish fingers. Yes. They grabbed me round the throat and they killed me. Oh, oh dear, I'm not in trouble. I'm right here, but where are they? Where are who? The babes. They've beaten me up. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you what they did. Oh, no, 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 no,
wrong shoulder. Is he? Yes. <laughs> it should be on this shoulder. <laughs>
day today. It's my favourite Tuesday. I'm going to let all the children join in as well. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do. Here we go. After three. One, two, three, go.
you spent the evening in Dartford. <laughs> now, from all of us, thanks for being a smashing audience this evening. And I'd like to make just a little announcement. We are presenting in this theatre in March our 30th birthday celebration production of Palace of Variety. Now, it's a great musical. I'm sure you're going to end with a lot of star guests in it. It's going to be something very special. Opening here for a week, commencing the 29th of March. We start next year we'll be presenting a brand new production of Cinderella. So we hope to see you on both occasions. From all of us, just a little thought for the new year. It's just this. It doesn't matter, you know, whether you're rich or whether you're poor. It's nice to have money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>